welcome back I know it's been a while since I made a video like this but since I have the time and a lot of you have been asking me about what products do I use for my hair so every time I do an IG the question thing on IG someone or at least around three of you would ask me what products I use for my hair what Zen Nutrigan shampoo do I use na na ni na 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 so because of that, I'll be making this video about the products that I'm using to my hair. And if you're interested about it, just keep on watching. Let's start! Okay, before anything else, all the products that I'll be talking about would be sulfate-free, silicone-free, um, drying alcohol-free, and water-insoluble ingredients free as well, okay? So what are those? I'll go on and each one. So I have a note, okay? I keep this with me. This is very very important. Sulfate free. Usually, this sulfate, um, when you check your, um, what do you call it, those traditional shampoos and cleanser. Um, I won't mention brands, but uh, most of the brands that are known here in the Philippines, they have sulfate. So this sulfate is very harsh if you have a curly hair, simply because it removes the natural hairs. And moisture from your hair so it makes your hair drier and frizzier so sulfate mm, no 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 girl never okay check the ingredients it is very very important to check the ingredients of the products that you're gonna use second one second one okay it should be silicon free um, silicon it, uh, when you apply it on your hair you know those products have claims that um, they're gonna make your hair shinier, smoother, na na ni, na na na. Those products have silicone, okay? Since it repels the water, it, it creates like a, a film on your hair, and then because of that, the moisture cannot come into your hair anymore. It cannot penetrate any longer. Because since it repels everything that's gonna come in, that's the reason why you have that shiny hair when you use this certain local brand products not really your local brand products but those products that uh, that was being commercialized a lot on your televisions okay those were the products next water insoluble ingredients man those were the waxes and thick oils we do not want it because again it cannot penetrate the moisture to your hair when you apply uh, your CGM products okay and then lastly is a drying alcohol so I mean generally an alcohol all the alcohols are really bad for your not just for your hair but for your skin in general because even for your toner for your face you're not supposed to use a product that has alcohol in it because it makes it absorbs all the moisture on your face it makes it drier um, and you're gonna see like marks marks none of it there and this stuff so same goes for your hair okay so for your hair if you're using an alcohol a product that has an alcohol as an Google shampoo. I bought it in Zen Nutrients. I mean, in Watson's rather. In Moa. This one costs 249 peso. But, see, ito pala yung nababawas ko. Since, I've been, uh, since I told you a while ago that I do not usually use shampoo for my hair every single day. And I do not wash my hair every single day. I wash my hair every other day. And how to use it, uh, just like how you use your regular shampoo, put a uh, generous amount on your hand, but only apply it on your scalp and massage it. Okay? For me, I massage it for at least three to five minutes when I when I shampoo my hair. Yeah. And uh, the reason why hindi ko siya ginagamit for the, my entire hair is that shampoo could be so drying to your curls. So, girls, do not apply it on your entire hair, but rather just on your scalp. The okay, next one is this one. It's a human nature natural conditioner. 
I bought the aloe one. Uh, aloe vera is so good for your hair. So if there's other variant, uh, I mean there's other variants of this one, but I chose aloe vera because uh, it's good for your hair and for your skin and for everything else. Because when I buy a product, I make sure that it won't affect my face. So I have a very sensitive face. That's why I break out easily, like literal. Anyway, so I was saying, um, this one is 100% no chemical included. And it says here, this is mineral oil free. It's silicone free and paraben free. So I talked about it earlier on the vlog. So, yeah. Alam nyo na safe siya for your hair. This one it was recommended to me by Miss Leslie. So Miss Leslie, I made a vlog about her. She uh, somehow fixed my hair, and uh, she's just the hair hair godmother, fairy god. Okay, she's a basta. She's a fairy godmother for your hair. So if you have questions, ask her. Okay. So before, like on my previous vlog about how I wash my hair. I mentioned a different product. I've been using the V05, but um, I, I noticed that with the V05, my hair gets super duper dry and super duper frizzy, and it just gives me flakes on my hair, you know, dandruffs. So I kind of stopped it. And then when I went to Leslie, she recommended this one and see what works for your hair. Okay, what product? I mean, these products may work for me, but. It may not work the same way for you, so it's a matter of trying things. Mag, sh mag shampoo, then conditioner. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my hair. When I rinse my hair, I make sure I only rinse 80% of the product that is in my hair. Why is that so? Simply because my hair needs moisture. Your curls need moisture. So you should not deprive your hair from all the moisture that you could offer them okay when you're taking a bath you may want to use just the tap water or a cold water a cold shower take a cold shower okay never 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 ever use warm water or else you would uh, notice right away that your hair gets super duper dry after the product na. okay so after again this one i'll be using this one Okay, it's the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. It's for moisturized and curl defined thick curly hair. So they have different variants, but Leslie told me, you know, with your type of hair, I have a fine curls. So she told me that, you know what, this one's gonna be good for you. This one I bought it for a thousand plus. I'll show you how it looks like. It actually smells good. It smells like coconut. Well, it has coconut oil. It's the main ingredient. Okay, so I get a generous amount of this one. And I divide my curls on portions. This portion. Okay? I'm gonna apply this one. And massage it. And just again, scrunch it up. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Lastly, the grips. Okay, I've been using gel. Simply because it helps you, um, it helps the curls be in place. It doesn't dry my hair. See, it says you have a great hairstyle without the dryness and the buildup, which is really, really true. And this is very cheap. I think I bought it for 24 pesos. So, here's another trick. When you're applying gel, do not apply too much. Why? Because if you apply a lot, look, look at this part, huh? It bounces back. Okay. But when you apply too much gel, it's going to be so stiff that you cannot actually make other hair do with your hair. Yeah, that's it. So, what do you gagawin, okay? Trial and error is the key to success if you have a curly hair. Of course, it's not going to be so dry right away and I let it air dry. And that's my... That's it. That's a product that I've been using. I hope that I make sense to this video. And um, let me know if you're trying these products. I'm gonna end the vlog here. And I hope that you learned something from me. And I inspire you to take care of your, curl, your hair or your curls as well. Okay, so again, these products are available locally here in the Philippines. So you do not have to worry about it. And... 
and I'm just a message away if you have other questions or clarifications um, in mind after watching this video. So I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!